I heal. Yeah, Mercoy is just permanently cracked here. Does not die from that well, which is big. Luke Kyoto moves up, but not quite able to score. I like that goalie swap, though. And that primary ch final barrier. Red team needs a score here, but Juliet cracked with no evade. Somehow trades it there. That was crazy. The hook and the dash came out at the exact same time. Ready to play. And both Juliets right now, they're both looking like they can just oh, want to play by the goalie. Using the eject in order to make a play on net. Such a sick goal. You love to see that. You don't often see that with the uh, Amy's things. They really have to make sure that pressure is built up as much as possible to keep it away from their side of the pitch. Oh, and there it is. What a shot. The vulnerability. Kyoto is just the offense for this team right now with the super search. It just nobody's expecting it. The Kai just isn't... Is a bit of speed behind the ball here as we jump into the overtime. Double KO and coming out. Red Lots gets him back. Good job by Vice and Juliet, and great passing there too. Really well done. Now, let's see if we can get some passing action, maneuvering through towards a potential goal. KO comes out. Huge Nicely kill. done by Tasimba. Let's see if they can use this one to their advantage now. They're pushing upfield, and there it is. It yields a goal, and they take the first. The Jakar ult almost did it, almost slowed down Amy enough, but not quite. This is going to be a tense game. It's almost over, and the CC by Mercoy stops Hyun from getting the contacted. I don't know how Coinks has kept it off. Finally, it's a bit of a misstep that sees the barrier fall, as well as the KO on to one poor SBV as Dyrza does go down. Oh. Throw the core in and hope that they kill somebody or do something. And honestly, now that they've gotten that kill on onto Coinks, they're in a very prime position to get their second <laughs> point here, and that's gonna sneak it right through. Beautiful shot. Hey, oh, power play once again. And this is just one thing oh. that Dai is able to do as another KO comes through. They're putting themselves into power play after power play after power play. Right there. Oh my, oh my God. goodness. That thing is deadly. That I think that's was, why they call it Death Touch. Yeah, I, that's exactly why. It's the SBCV was actually staggered for a while, but because of the power play, was able to stay back, stay safe, and then find the goal. Gamers, gamers! They're absolute stone wall here on this Dubu. Not, nothing has been able to get past him for so long. That one getting very Ooh. dangerously close, but Imagination Ooh. does make it through. Coins triggering the black hole to take out Dur uh, Duration. Now let's see. Innings, it does feel like the gamers have the tools to get themselves right back in the series. However, pass oh. like that are what's going to be keeping them down. First goal goes to die. Derision Barrier <laughs> oh. from gets the KO at the same time. So, power play against them. Puck flip gets to it. Nearly a black hole in. Coins has to puck flip to keep it alive. That core to get anywhere near that top barrier. Eventually, the gamers do find their way around it. Oh. Beautiful core flip from SBV, putting that down into the corner. Oh, the snap decision making right there. Let's see some pressure come through. Puck flip, SBV! Pitch and in, first set goes to Jammers Gamers. That was just an absolutely Rocket Saya doing what they can on the opposite side, but John Wheeler has been the executioner, and this one, what just Ooh. happened? What the fuck? How does it stay out? It doesn't! John Wheeler! This is it. Beautiful core flip there from Messier to clear it out of that corner, and that Matthews. does end up converting over to a barrier. John Wheeler Whoa. with the shot! Oh. <laughs> that was insane! What kind of a shot was Looks like a very, very vulnerable side right now for Dai, a chance to cross him up. But not fast enough for the shot, nearly sneaks through the middle. Last second save by his side, keeps it alive. And oh! then they flip on the line straight to SBC. Oh no! They have some beautiful core movement, but that Dubu is just so fast that it is very hard for them to get Whoa! anything through. I mean, I mean, imagination is just absolutely insane. Find the pass though to keep it safe at least for now. And now we're seeing still more, and oh, the shot up into the corner, and wow. And this spawn happens, so the power play not enough to end this match. In fact, oh. it was nearly a goal to the other side. Coins barely keeping it standing. Now John Wheeler leading the charge again to Zaya. With the flip, crosses it up, but no, they can't get it past Coins. It's a tie up in the doorway. Zaya gets stunned. The puck gets behind. 
down goes the second barrier, and now both goals are open with the KO from John Wheeler. There's the pass. There's the shot. Predictive save. Not there it is. SDV puts like the early stage team temp name a lot more decisive with their plays as the black hole kind of explodes right in Jabber Boob's face. That leads to them getting KO. That said, the banish KO in return. Spearman finds one, so it's a two v two. And you can see that banish Asmus hasn't really had a lot of chances to score yet. Jafferbuff just hasn't really gotten many chances to get the core. And so far, that's just meaning that blue team is just doing better. What a again, perfect banish. Perfect banish into perfect timing. Nog staying all on him. And now as soon as the puck is there, there comes the shot. Tatagon able to make the save. As this has been happening, Duplit as well. Doing what they can on the top side of the pitch. Just applying that pressure. And we go to our first overtime. And we leave our first overtime with a quick goal out of Duplit. What Usually is, what? Uh, you have like one player, this is like the more common way to play where you have one player that controls the midfield along with the goalie, they work together, they're oh. like a partnership, and then you have one forward that shot coming the other way, a chance maybe to stay alive in this set, temp name still has the core flip staying alive in it, Denong now one on one against Tatsu Gun, doesn't get the cross up, but that's what Duplit is for, that's gonna be um match between these two. Oh, we see that at the bottom. It's drip. Blue drip. Team. I can read. Blue I'm team. literate, I promise, even though I mispronounce everyone's name and clearly have had issues. Yeah, Drips got Drips. They won the first game. They also got the first goal here. Fortunate, I suppose, to Drips got Drips. Still, they'll have a chance to try and bring it back. However, it is their goal that's open. It is the pressure coming from Emmy to Flames. Second set goes in favor of Flemiles. And really, cross up. Doesn't work either. Good at defense so far from, from Miles. I mean, they're doing a good job holding it back. It's another Supernova whips. Eventually, the barrier falls. There's the KO, and there is the goal. Well done for Drip Scott Drip. Straight down the middle, the barrier falls. That was a little bit awkward, but it goes back the other way as well. In fact, that's the set. <laughs> wow, Blink and you missed Man, it. Man, out it. Uh, the Orb Dancer right now, yeah. are they able to score off that Orb Dancer? Because right now Blue is actually doing a lot better uh, as long as the Orbs don't come up. As soon as Endless starts grabbing these Orbs, it just... It's over. It's, uh, they're just all too speedy. <laughs> whenever you get the chance to. Absolutely, but we are already jumping into it and it looks like both barriers are going to be a down uh, by the for the certified uh, Uber Core Kickers and will be a god track for two but the defense pulls through in the end there maybe not for long it's now open season here and the demons are looking to clear the path who and what a great team play sick pass from scoopy what a snipe by kai so good and what a oh. save right at the line Incredible. Save. now you got to make up for it big boom with the shot huge be in a high pressure situation there we go minty's taken out now to play a lot more cautiously in the back end of this one he might just be able to push it straight past there we go ko comes out and the goal to follow nicely big one again kura getting those extra shots on the kai it's going to be tough to break him yet that's exactly what has happened he's been broken well so hard that the response is a double ko barrier might be down but the pressure's going the other way and there they go Core flip used for a KO. Torchy might be low, but still is going to try to find the cross-up shot. Grandy Senpai really wants to lock and load him out, but instead it goes the other way. The double KO into the goal. Torchy looking hot. Would be enough and gets a KO on the tail end of it all. It's just not fair. A second one falls into the hole, and it's puck, coin flip, core flip, whatever you want to call it. It's flippity dippity do. It's in a get some results out of this one or a lot of damage results in another execution gonna have to play a bit more cautiously what? again but what? a goal what? somehow <laughs> breaks through the top what is going on here that back nearly solo ko on the tail end as well power play in favor of the team in blue they're looking for that second set lunars this time makes contact with the puck sets up kura and that's gonna be it set number two goes to the hunters and you do have a very aggressive Torchy right now, forced away by the wall, but that means the wall isn't stopping the core. Core flip, though, does allow Monk to take down the barrier. A chance for Grand Senpai. It gets behind them, and with the punch, as a lead blocker, Monk helps escort. That's going to be the case. Heading in to the rest of this one as well. Barrier comes down. Torchy ready, <laughs> breaks it in, and that's going to be a second goal found in this set. Interception now, Kura. Pressure in the 2v1, still fights the gap. Torching now 1v1 against Ahmed, buying time, has a flip, gets the KO, doesn't even need it, but uses it anyways. That's gonna be match number one. 
hunt Ahmed right now, living to the name of the Dubu Hunters, finally is going to start to fall back. As you see the second barrier fall, a chance to make this 2 0, or is it 1 1? The 1 2 1 pass. Hurt right there, uses the post to set up a second touch, and guess what? That breaks out the second barrier. Torchy staggered, doesn't care, still gonna get a KO just before Kura gets the goal because everyone wants all the stats, Matsy. Well, Ahmad doing the best that they can to keep the core away from their goals, but the barrier's down now, and they're on even footing. Every time that special is available nice. for Kura, that's being used and it's being used to take someone out, it feels down. They might find more off a passing potential coming out left, right, and Ooh. center at the moment, but they managed to break it out. Good core flip coming out, though. The momentum Ooh. shifting over and over again. The barrier goes down. Senpai has a chance. Hunters. Oh, Senpai tried to pre shoot. 2v1, Torchy tries to force it through. Ahmed has the read, comes through with the safe brand. Senpai able to rotate back, but here comes Kura. That's AJ into a 3v2, two seconds till the respawn. Up comes Monk on that right. One less defender, you'd have to think, especially with the KO coming from Torchy and a core flip available on the Juliet. Kura gets the second KO. Flip not needed. Instead, it's just a simple strike, and that's going to do it for set number four. Down. Even if the blue team are down a player, they're keeping off this pressure. Oh, they've lost another Whoa. one. Surely they don't get a goal off this. Finally, the Dupu's down and out. And now there's going to finally come back to the Hunters. Yeah, we'll see what happens. A chance to cross it up. Grand Senpai has to be careful, though. Torchy finally says, hey, hold on. This guy has no stagger. Easy KO. Interception of the Death Touch leads to the core flip, leads to the goal. Yeah, great stuff coming out for the Hunters there. Looking to see what they can do now. Good oh. damage. Almost executes <laughs> both of them. There we go. See you later. Grand Senpai. Barrier and finds the bottom barrier of their opponents. Yeah, good trade off there for the Hunters here. Looking for another barrier as well. Almost getting the execution there on Monkey Art. So, results here. Well, here we go. Grand Senpai. They wanted to get rid of that black hole, but it comes at a cost. They nearly go down. Now, invisible shot. Wow, staggered. Grand Senpai steps forward and gets the goal. A thumbs up. Torchy trying to go for the KO on Ahmed, not able to find it, but it does get the Tofu wall out, and that means no defense for the next punch. Goal open right now, 3v2, flip the core, put it in. Who else Makura to make it happen? And with this overtime speed, you know, all you need is that one good touch, but the touch kind of came from the turret. Ahmed able to make that save, and with that Tofu wall, Lunaris has to try a couple times, still gets Torchy through the gap, and he is their own doing, Lunaris. Wasn't able to put it through just yet. Torchy still hunting. There is that strong turret sets up Torchy. And we're tied at one apiece. There we go. Versus. They're ready for war. Oh my gosh. Torchy just went on a spree. Straight forward. Two KOs. You cannot defend against that. And Kura is just burning flips because they can. They